In this episode of The Hanks Adventures, we take you to Washington DC and have a look at a little house that is white. West Wing um, tour. Let's go. The White House gets a lot of attention, and especially when the President starts speaking. We were really surprised when we got to DC to find out just how close the White House was to the actual city itself. As you can see, the White House is located in the heart of downtown DC, but most people are used to seeing it like this. Putting the movies aside, what most people don't know is that there's a building next door called the Eisenhower Executive Office Building that houses the likes of the Vice President, National Security Council and a whole heap of other offices. Our family was lucky enough to get a tour of this building from a friend who works with the President. But before we went over to check out the West Wing of the White House and take a few snaps in the media briefing room, we checked out the EEOB, Eisenhower Executive Office Building. As soon as we got inside the building, we could see how grand it was. There was so much history around each corner, and every corridor that we travelled down had a different story to tell. There's a flag on the bus. It's way The kids loved looking behind every little door that they could find. Is this the office of Sophie? It fits you perfectly. Coming from a military background, it was interesting for me to see the Secretary of War suite where decisions were made during the great wars of the past. Every room had a different design on the roof, textures, walls and some amazing furniture that you knew have had some very important people sitting in those chairs over the years. The epaulets worn by this officer date back to the Mexican-American War in 1846 and are casually on display in one of the office rooms. It's a fake one. I can't believe we're at the Vice President's office. Some other wartime artefacts include a 32-pounder Revolutionary War era cannonball and an American flag that was salvaged off the battlefield. Next, we continued our tour down the corridors and past the National Security Council's offices. Until we reached this amazing dome, it was pretty high up and it is reported that this dome and others like it were all covered up during the world wars so that enemy planes could not see into the building. We reached the library and the kids wanted to have a go at giving a speech. The views out of the office are not too bad too. Out one window, the Washington Monument, and out another, the West Wing of the White House, where we were heading to next. So unfortunately, we weren't allowed to film inside the West Wing itself for security reasons, but what I can tell you is the White House West Wing does not exactly look like what we see in the movies except for the Oval Office itself. The Oval Office is pretty similar to what we see in the movies. So after our internal West Wing tour, we went outside and took a close-up look at the main White House building. We were pretty excited to see the inside of the press briefing room as well, as we normally see a lot of it on TV. I was even more excited to see if we would get a chance to stand behind the President's podium. We were surprised to see how small the briefing room was but they seemed to cram a lot of reporters in there, and especially during the coronavirus briefings. 
Did you know that this room was built over the swimming pool and that the pool still remains underneath this room to this day? Luckily for us, this video was filmed before the coronavirus started. We're standing out in front of the West Wing right now. Just checking it out, it's been an amazing tour. So thanks very much for watching. If you haven't already, please hit subscribe. We have many more of these amazing adventures and opportunities uh, here in the United States. But thanks for watching and we'll see you all next time. Bye. So for everyone watching, thanks for your support. We really hope you can hit subscribe for us. It really supports our little channel here. Please stay safe during these uncertain times. Check out some of the other videos on our channel if you're bored. If you've got any ideas or want to see anything specific in a video, comment down below. Otherwise, thanks again. Hit subscribe and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.